So we start again here in frame five. It's been re-racked. It's 2-2 between Ronnie O'Sullivan and Zhang Ander, playing for place in the last 32 of the European Masters. Oh. Excellent pot, excellent cue ball. See Ronnie in the background there, still obviously protecting his eyes from that. Perhaps he may have looked at it inadvertently, and then it, and, and it's really put him off. So he's just guarding against it. As I say, it, it can upset your vision for as much as five or ten minutes. And five. He's happy to roll Six. with it for the time being. It's the fact that his opponent who, as you said, he's quite hard to read. He's in here and you know, he plays the game his own way, but he's effective in it. 11. 12. Yeah, that was a lovely shot. Nicely judged Cannon. More than decent chance. 19. 20. It's funny how break building changes down the years. 20 years ago, you'd well, low black here and into the reds. Which he's going to do, but a lot of the top players tend to get low in the red and bring the reds into play that way. Let's see how he gets on then with this. Get the cue ball out of there. See, that's why the modern way is the opposite of that, for that very reason. 35. Mainly because they can get the cue ball working out into open space more off a low red than a low black. Possible double. Yeah, couldn't play as a shot to nothing. Five. He's got a grip of the match, Zhang And He's keeping Ronnie at bay. So he's doing his job, you know, this is that boxer thing. Hit and be hard to hit yourself. He's doing that. He's not playing this to the middle. Playing it to the far corner. Brilliant shot. Great effort. Good cue ball. It was a percentage play, wasn't it? Oh, that's a stunning shot. That really is. This is going to be difficult to keep Ronnie at bay for Zhang. Yeah, I think he, this is clever. I think he's going cushion first, half ball the red. No, he's not. I was thinking cushion first and get the red that's nearest the pocket. Trying to find a gap with a cue ball, but that was always going to be dangerous. And he's gotten away with it in a fashion. This red to the far right corner. It looks on on our screen, but it's thinner than what it appears. So it's long red for Ronnie. It's all he's got. Not guaranteed to leave one should he miss it, but bound to. Oh. Ah, yeah. Shot of the match, not out the woods yet, but awkward bridging. Oh, it's a stunning shot again. All the sort of discussion about Ronnie, and there's been plenty down the years, one thing you cannot question is his bottle. He, if there's a big shot, he will play it, regardless of what might go wrong. No. So, three really good pots here, and now he's in. It's that little bit of magic. Oh dear. What has he got here? I mean, this pot's not easy. And he's done incredibly well to leave this brown on. Well, there was a big brown missed, of course, in frame two by O'Sullivan, which set up Zhang's clearance. And that started really his involvement in this match. But that one goes in. So this has been a far from straightforward start to proceedings, but they're still going in. 19. Twenty. Twenty-four. Now yeah, he is going to need that last red. He'll be thinking, is this the time to bring it out into play? Twenty-one. 
the red on the cushion. 30. I got a, just a tiny piece of it, but I don't think it's quite on. If he gets that far and doesn't get a chance to shift it, it's quite a nice double. But the good thing is the two open reds down this end are quite easy to work off. 36. To go about attacking that red whichever way he sees fit. 42. 42. Now, can he get low enough on this pink? Low of straight to bring the red into play. Got to push the cue ball down to the left there. Couldn't do it. So it looks like a double is the only option he's going to have. But it's one that he'll fancy. Fifty-five. Ronnie O'Sullivan, 55. Of course, uh, the Bulls could have finished anywhere there. They could have finished worse for O'Sullivan, for sure. Oh, beautiful pot. And what a cue ball. Now then, that was clever because the, you know, the, the green had to be dealt with at some stage. This is a key shot now. Just try and not overplay this. Yeah, that, that's a good decision. Didn't try to do too much and get too busy with the cue ball. Four. Now the big shot. Six. He's a steely little character, isn't he? They call him Mighty Mouse, Zhang Ander. And this could be a mighty clearance. The red was superb. Now he needs to just hold himself together for a big steal. No. Particularly the, the quality of the break that O'Sullivan made. He just didn't get over the line, didn't get the double. 13. I wonder he can barely watch. Eighteen. Pink and black. Twenty. Oh, it was a terrific red. It really was. And it just looks cool. Just needs to knock this in and he'll be in front. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sang under. Well, there we were saying how cool he looked. But he's missed the final black. All that hard work he's done. And he's left this black for O'Sullivan. Seven. I'm and then it goes. But well, what an opportunity missed. He may still win the match, but that's a massive blow. In between frames, Martin Clark, the tournament director, came out to speak to Ronnie O'Sullivan about this issue that he seems to have with lighting. And O'Sullivan said, well, it, it feels a bit bright, but he also said, Martin said, can I do anything? And he said, no, it's all right. So it doesn't seem to be a major drama. One. O'Sullivan knocks in a terrific red again. The cue ball absolutely middled. When you really middle it, it makes you feel oh, kind of oh. nice and sort of warm inside. It just, you get that nice feeling when you strike a ball that well. Nice. And so having hit a couple of really nice shots early on here. Sir. He looks back in the mood all of a sudden. Seventy. 
80. You often hear people say that Sullivan picks and chooses his events, but he tends to play in pretty much everything. He's the old one, he sits out, he's not playing in Turkey. I think you have to, to stay competitive, because if you lose a slight edge, then it can be hard to get it back. Thirty. Thirty. It tends to be the way against the very best in any sport. If you don't press home that uh, any sort of advantage that you glean in a match, you sort of almost take that and run with it, which has been the way the first half of this frame. Balls. Yeah, this is the modern way now. Get the cue ball into the open and open the reds that way. More often than not, for guys like O'Sullivan, it pays off. Looks like a very, very quick kill in this frame. Zhang had it in his hands. That's the, the disappointment. It wasn't brilliant play that caused him to lose the last frame. It was his own failure to pop that black. Seven two. Seventy seven. Eighty-five. Well, if you wanted to just show someone how to play a perfect frame of snooker, you'd just watch this frame. I mean, it's been just sublime. Ninety. Yeah, two amazing shots, weren't they? The opening red and then that uh, other red that opened everything up. Yeah, wonderful. I mean, it's just brilliant. This is what they've come to see. 101. For those keeping score, it's career century 1,136. Six minutes, the, the break. 106. But it makes that miss black even bigger now. The whole psychology well, coming into this frame was changed by the fact that he missed it. One hundred and fifteen. This is why the spotlight is on him, because he can play like this. Absolutely brilliant. Total clearance of 128 in the blink of an eye from Ronnie O'Sullivan, so he now needs one for victory. Even Ronnie hand on the bed. But it's not the best either. One. It's a great pot. Yeah, you could tell with that shot there, he, he really is a nice cueist. But there's so many different facets of a game that you have to be good at. 60. You've got to be able to close it out when the pressure starts biting. 70. There again, that's lovely. Good, good action on the cue ball. This is a risk going into them. Deciding to play that side. So they must both go, you have to assume that. 22. 
but a good chance nevertheless and a low black here would be nice 23 yeah that's lovely not too hard yeah he's played it too hard still okay though Thirty. Right, done well. Thirty some. This is a great chance to get a big piece of these this bunch of reds. Well played. Needs a bit of luck. The red does go. 44. 14 now. Yeah, Fifth. just potted it on the thin side. So lost the cue ball a fraction. Well played, that'll do. 57. Good stuff this. 58. So this green, and Sullivan needs a snooker. Well, credit to him for this, because it was a rather traumatic seven or eight minutes when he missed that black 16. to lead 3-2. Then O'Sullivan made that 1-2-8 to, to completely turn the match around. But Zhang knows there's still time for it to turn back. And if you can continue like this the rest of the afternoon, he's still got a chance. Sixty-seven. Sixty-eight. Big moment, I think, when he had that red with the rest, the green pocket. You know, got into the reds, and now it's just a question of what this break finishes up as. Seventy-three. Seventy-four. Yeah, good stuff. Really good stuff. Eighty seven. Eighty nine. Ninety two. Oh, oh well, that's one way to pass it <laughs> and to keep the century. Going, he needs the blue. The brown has flown the full length of the table into the opposite corner. Oh, Funny old game, game isn't it, Stuka? When he missed that black to lead 3 2, you think he can't possibly win this match, but he's responded with an excellent sentry, albeit okay, helped by that fluke, but the rest of it has been superb. And Zhang Ander, he's right back in the match. Well, that was brilliant. Really was. Especially given the circumstances. So Zhang and they're right back in it. 114 for clearance from Zhang. Just to say, Mark Selby has gone to the interval two each with Jordan Brown. And all of a sudden, I was actually thinking just uh, during that last frame, that the nice break by Zhang Ander. He puts me in mind of Yan Bing Tao. What? Talking about early, he's difficult to read and uh, difficult to lay a glove on in some ways. He just sort of gets on with his own his own thing, his own game, like Yan does. Not easy to play against. Oh, no. Oh, just when he's got a foothold in the match and a chance to press on, he throws in a poor one. What?
Liang Wenbo, who played very well earlier. He had two centuries, including a 140. He only won 5-4, but he scored very heavily. Eight. Get any piece of the bunch. She'd hold the cue ball there nicely. Just like that. 50. 60. 20. I think Ronnie, apart from the fact he's brilliant at it, I think he actually enjoys it. You know, closing a match out in one hit the way that you're supposed to, the proper way, as he has 20. demonstrated in this little break so far. 30. 32. 36. Wow, I don't know where. 36. Just as some sort of match report was being written on this one. Not over yet, then. Yeah, I think all of us are flabbergasted at that miss, so the door still half ajar. What? Ah, it's got to be high with the cue ball there, got to be high. Not easy to get close to the next red. Yeah, just looking at that, that looks an absolute nailed uncertainty, doesn't it, the plant? Why don't you just screw the cue ball back three or four feet? Five. A bit of pressure. Now he's got to get himself back into decent position here. Key shot. Oh, well done. Six. Seems to have recovered some composure from that missed black in frame five. But then again, outwardly, he looked calm as he was <laughs> clearing up to win that frame and he missed the black. So it's one of those plays he's hard to read. The Yambing Tao is the same as you mentioned. You never quite know how he's feeling. 30. Very much touch Five. and go in this match now. Zhang with a chance here to force a decider. 27. Thirty-four. He's been a bit straight in the black for comfort. Still no problem playing it for the middle pocket. Forty-two. Let's see what sort of angle he's going to have on this. Next, pink or black. 43. Not bad. Just on and off the cushion with a cue ball. And a nice high black that's guaranteed to attack 41. the last one. 50. It just depends, do you want to shift it? It's a lovely target, isn't it, to shift it? If you play in behind it and try to be precise, it can land awkward. But that's what he's playing. Not easy to just lay this where you exactly need it to be, the cue ball. See, just a wee bit short of pace. And now then, he's got another decision to make. Do you dead weight it? Or hedge your bets with a bit of pace? We're about to find out. Been excellent with the rest so far, but this is the biggest shot he's had to face by far. It wriggles in. Fifty-seven. Just needs this pink or black.
Sullivan had a great chance, didn't he? Zhang missed the green early in the frame. And he's looking good again, even the way he played the black there. He played down for the yellow. He didn't just take the points. He played on the yellow. He wants to kill the frame off. So he's taking the match into a decider, but he's doing so playing really well. He had the century in the last frame, and now this break. When Some O'Sullivan went 4-2, having gone 3-2 the way he did, you yeah. think it's going to be over soon, but of course sport doesn't work like that. Sancia. Little plot twist. 84. And he's done the rest, he's cleared up with 91, that follows the 114 in the previous frame, so Zhang Ander from 4-2 down has forced a decider. Yeah, that's good quality safety shot as well. Alright, Ronnie can get a piece of a red. At safety shot now. What's he got? Jang red to the right corner. Suddenly got very tense this match. Couple of little errors early on in this decider, adding to that. No. This takes a steely nerve. If he plays this dead weight. Oh, no good. No good, but. We can forgive him that, he'd no other outs there, no other options, he just had to commit. Well. Well, you felt he was bound to be on one here, but it didn't look great, actually. Yeah, one thing, well, amongst a lot of things that Ronnie's never shirked at is, is playing the big shot. We've seen it World Championship semi-finals, deep in matches against Selby and the like, all those kind of shots. He never, ever flinches away from them. No, oh, that's very good. Very smooth, under pressure. Thanks. So once again, it's out of Zhang's hands, as it was in the last frame. Something Thanks. unexpected happened there. O'Sullivan missed a red. And now, go past the winning line. Francis. You know, he missed a red a frame or two ago, a bog standard red, 40 odd in front. You just feel like that ain't going to happen in a decider. Still, things not straightforward here, Fault. though. What's he got for us then? Does this red pass the yellow? Ronnie O'Sullivan. 40. And the pressure's on big time. This is the deciding frame, and it would be a huge win for him. Oh. So, another chance.
got to be said, Jang, and the credit to him. You know, 100 and then another big break to close from 4-2 behind. Oh, my goodness. What else is going to happen? How has he missed that one? What? And maybe sensing that O'Sullivan is feeling it a bit as well. No. And it's going to be a bit of a dogfight in the last couple of reds. Six. Close to cushions, so a bit of tension still to come. I'm certain of that. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Yeah, he may well come back to the table, but he knows he's already had, particularly the last visit, a really good chance to win this match. Twenty-nine. Yeah, this has all came about as a consequence of a red that Ronnie missed. It was pretty straightforward by any pro standards, and here it is. No issue with getting through to the pot and angle. He just plain old missed it. Simple as that. Now, it looks like he's shaping up to shift this red. Oh, brilliant. Very good. Well, nearly missed that. That was uh, not clean. No, oh, that's an awful shot. Ah, uh, you know, you don't like... I mean, it's four each. It's a decider. Oh. There's a lot of pressure out there. But he's got the proverbial acre to play with there, isn't he? You know, I, I, he's got at very least make sure he's got a pot at the red. All right, it's not going to cost him the match. But that was such a big mistake to make. Well, what it means is there's one point in it in the decider. Two reds on. As stated, the dog fight on the last couple of reds is now going to happen. Well now, a chance. I think Zhang needs to take a couple of breaths because this is a definite chance. Oh, Has he got the pace? Well, he doesn't have either, actually, so it's back again. Oh, miss. Take three. This is better. Good shot. Yeah, no real damage done, so this frame's still in the balance. Nine points. Two hours playing time. It's not been a slow match by any means. Full of incident. That's why he didn't want to play it. Understandably. Slight stretch this. One. Well. Goes the red. that really well he has it in his hands now if you can knock this in no. and it's in the middle of the pocket <laughs> after round three 
been a really interesting match. The mistakes here and there, of course, add to the drama Six. expected at the start, which is a Ronnie O'Sullivan victory. Thank and goes you. the yellow. <laughs> if it's a scramble like this, you can enjoy the drama. There was a, Zhang Ander has come back strongly from 4-2. Wu Yiz, a young lad, new on tour, awaits Six. in the last 32 tomorrow afternoon. 36. And Ronnie O'Sullivan survives into the last 32 of the European Masters. He was put through his paces by Jack Ander, who fought back very strongly from 4 2. It was a 10 to decider, but it's Ronnie O'Sullivan victorious. He's beaten Jack Ander by five frames to four.